Transformation number four. Let's head now. Let's, let's, let's come on the bad song now. Jeffrey Keynes. Who can remember that when I came into office, the Flax building right over there, the Ventipool building, the fire station, the police barracks were all in a sad state of affair, in dire need of repairs. All people, all hardworking public officers, those who protect and serve us were forced to walk in dilapidated buildings. They were all, and I repeat, all repaired under my watch. And yes, we all thought the Irish Hill Clinic was ready for occupancy, but it sat there empty. Under my watch, significant improvements were made and much more to come. I say, let the transformation continue. For I am not prepared to play with the health of our community. And I must say, it also includes mental health. We are playing on lip service to the same, we ought to stop it. We have to move beyond the top, and that's what I am fully prepared to take on. We have years of data showing that your likelihood of surviving an emergency depends on where you get sick and what day of the week you get sick. If you have a heart attack in Rotong on a Tuesday, you'll be all right. We have a very good chance. If you have a seizure on Enigada on a Sunday, may God help you. We have the resources and expertise to develop one of the most sophisticated emergency transport systems in the world. And yet, in 2023, we are struggling to get emergencies from the sister islands to the hospital. Zoe spoke about this. Without adequate emergency transport, we are putting undue pressures on our doctors and nurses, especially the ones in remote communities like Enigada, who sometimes don't even have a doctor on the island. We cannot promise bigger and better if we continue to operate from a position of fear. I will continue to push and advocate and work with the medical professionals and boards to deliver a better and more professional medical service. For God's sake, let's get it fixed. 